Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at an update to the transportation add-on that is for Blender. And this is made available by the guys at Blender now. And just in case you want to get it, link is going to be in the description where you can check it out. Now, the beautiful thing about this update is right now, it is supported for Blender 2.9. It comes with five new sets of assets and then there is an improvement and also a couple of updates that's been added to both the HDR and also the material. So in case you've not seen this tool before, there's a couple of things that you need to take away from it. So without further ado, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at this. So if you download this tool, you can simply go over to edit, go over to preference and you get things happening. Next thing which you need to do is to press N on your keyboard and once you do that, you notice we have the transportation tool right here. Now, some of the assets that's been added here include, you know, public transport. So if you click, you now notice we have a Mercedes, so we can bring this one right in. And if you want this to be an editable one, you can also do something like so. So once you click on add vehicle, this is going to throw in that vehicle right here. And once that loads, we can click on make editable and it's going to make this object editable. So something that you need to also keep in mind is an object like this is extremely extremely clean so if we tap z on the keyboard and switch to wireframe you can see what we have going on there if we also switch back to solid go over to the overlays and turn on wireframe you can see how clean this is so if you're looking forward to getting an add-on that you can use for maybe your next shot or your games and stuff like that you can see how clean this actually looks now going away from here there's also a couple of things that i would like to show you guys so we already talked about the fact that it has a couple of assets so you can see some of them here there is an emergency vehicle that you can get so this is actually a police car so we can drop that one right in here and you can see that beautiful stuff and then there are also some materials that you can play with let's switch these out from wireframe and jump over to Eevee so we can see some of these things in their glory. So if you want to change the color, you want to change, you know, the paint on the car, yes, you can. You can select this and then you can make the change from any of these ones. So you can go from the black over to the red, whatever one you want to do. And once you're done, just simply click on add color or add car paint and that is automatically going to add the car paint. So you can bring in as, as much stuff as you want. So if we also go in there and let's get something like so and drop this one right in here, you can also notice that it looks pretty cool. So let's select that, position this one right here. And yes, we have this going for us. And the car paints that you have are various types. So you can switch from metallic to shiny and also matte. So if you want to get something that is quite shiny, you can also find something like so. So if we select red, for example, with the object selected and you simply click on add car paint, it's going to add the car paint for you. Now, there are also some beautiful things that you don't get with most asset add-ons that you would get with this one. And what I'm talking about is nothing more than the customized color. So we've already talked about this one in the previous video, so you can take a look at that. But then you also notice that we have the HDR and backplate. So within this HDR and backplate, there are tremendous update that's been done for this. So if you need like interior HDR, you can get these ones, which are not so much. But for the exterior, there are tons of exterior HDRs that you can get right here. So you can actually scroll all the way up. So let's go all the way up and you can see a couple of these and you can just throw them directly into your scene. Click on the add HDR. You have nothing to do with nodes and automatically you're going to notice that this just jumps right in there. So if you would like to play with the HDR, you have a couple of properties right here, which you can play with in case you want to rotate this, you want to change the height of the HDR. Yes, you can. So you can literally do all of these things however you choose. Now, scrolling down, you notice we have backplates. Now, once you turn on the backplate, you would not be able to see anything. All you need to do to get this visible is to press zero on your keyboard, which activates the camera. And for you to be able to easily rotate that camera with the object inside, you need to go over to view and click on camera to view. Now, once that is done, what you can now do is you can move around. Now, if you want this to be a full frame camera, you need to press home on your keyboard to get that full framing happening. So with our camera right here, if we go over to the transportation and then let's just click on add in background, we are going to see the background right there. So you can now easily position the car however you want, you know, position it wherever you want this to be. So let's go for something like so. 
let's just get this right there now once you're done with what you have here the next thing which you may want to do just to give that extra level of realism is to add a transparent shadow now once you click on add transparent shadow nothing really happens so let's go over and change this from ev to cycles and also change the device from cpu to gpu and once that is done all you need to do is select the object that you want to cast shadow on so let's select this object and then click on add transparent shadows and automatically we should be able to get transparent shadows now this transparent shadow that you've added regardless of any model that you bring right in so let's go here and let's move this one over to a point like this and then let's throw in another vehicle so let's go all the way up switch these to something more like an suv let's get a sport car and see what we can do with that and maybe we can go with the red one like the jaguar and then click on add vehicle now once you do that automatically once you're bringing in any model directly here it comes with the transparent shadow and to me this looks like a very awesome looking tool that anyone who is into creating animations or maybe you're into vfx or you're just trying to create you know some pretty cool stuff that you can throw into your game you would find this ready-made assets very wonderful to use and the add-on itself doesn't just come with this asset as you've already seen that you have a couple of extra features like the hdr the backplate the shadow catcher and a ton of material types that you can definitely play with and if you want to get this and use this with blender 2.9 is here if you want to get used to the cool features that are now here you can also take a look at the link in the description and grab this one for yourself so this is about it Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.